Uh, this question's um, got a conversion graph here for working out the cost of hiring a car from uh, Kevin's Cars. Um, they're telling us that we're dealing with uh, looking at two different uh, companies, Kevin Cars and Mike's Motors, and we've been given the Kevin Cars. So they're basically going to expect us to read off some numbers from here and look at how we can compare. So let's have a look. We've got Kevin's Cars charges £30. Well, that uh, ties up with the graph because it starts at £30 for uh, no days or higher because it's £30 plus £30 per day. And the gradient of this graph, if we worked it out, would be the £30 per day. Mike's Motors charges £80. So their graph is going to start at 50 60 70 80 and they're charging £25 per day to hire. So if I do it for 10 days, so we can get a couple of points in, um, 10 25 is uh, 250 plus the £80 is 330 So for 10 days, it's going to cost us 330 So we've got 300 310, 320, 330. If I then work out another one, just so I can make sure I line my ruler up carefully, so if I do it for four days, then we can see we do 425 is 100 plus the 80 pounds um, standard charge, so that'll be 180, so 150, 160, 170, 180. And again, we were careful to work out the scale of the graph, each of the uh, lines go up in 10 pounds. So again, I rule it and very carefully make sure our dots lined up, which uh, they do. So we can be quite confident we've done that formula correct. Okay, now I haven't drawn that uh, as accurate as I should have done. So this is where you should really do it in pencil, but never mind. Okay, obviously you should do that in pencil so that you can rub out. Uh, Jasmine wants to hire a car for 12 days, so 12 days, which company should she hire? Well, using the graph, we can see that the cheapest would be Kevin's cars. But, so from the graph, Kevin's cars is lower, therefore cheaper. But of course they've given us the two formulas, so we could show what happens for 12 days. So I'm going to do a check. Um, so Kevin's cars, it's £30 plus 30 times 12. Ken Bidmas says do this times in first, so 30 12 is 360, so that's going to be £390. And for Mike's motors, it's £80 plus 25 times 12. Well, when we look at this, we've got 25 times 12, um, 380. Hmm. Good job I did that because I've now realised that when you look at the graph, if I follow through, Kevin's cars is actually that top one, and this is really important about labelling. That's Mike's, and actually Mike's is cheaper. So from the graph, it's not Kevin's, it's Mike's. And that's why it's really important that you check all your workings and label carefully. So Mike's was actually lower. So from the graph, Mike's cars is lower, it's cheaper. And from our calculations, we can also see that it's Mike is cheaper.